Guys, good to have you with us, Brent. I wonder, is this is this sort of expected chop regarding mix and inventory and and just the supply of goods rather than a broad comment on the consumer and economic activity? Absolutely, and this is what we've been pointing to for some time now. So what I hear is I hear shifting spending, not stopping spending. And so if you think about the past few years, you have had a move towards good spending over services spending. That is now unwinding as we push further from what COVID, uh, the impact that COVID had on us. That's also causing the current market dislocation. So if you think about what's happening in the markets, you're seeing a dislocation in the most expensive stocks because monetary and fiscal policy is also changing. And you're seeing a dislocation in the stay-at-home stocks. Things like Target that benefited from all of us staying at home, those two things are meeting head on and that's causing the current market chop that you're seeing uh, that we think will eventually alleviate as this does push through inflation also. So that's the, the last connection. Certainly inflation has been high. That's been on the good side. That good side is now going to be pushing lower, which will have an overall dampening effect on core inflation uh, and bring that down so that we don't have to have a Fed that tightens us into a recession. Uh, Michael, is that your view? Uh, we've heard from some uh, officials from the Fed last couple of weeks saying, look, don't count on any kind of pause in September, for example. Uh, is, do you think the market's still counting on that? Uh, I, yeah, I do think the market is counting on that. I think that's why the market is where it's at. You know, I think Becky actually brought up a good point regarding um, what's happening with Target. Um, it's the top line numbers, I think, that really matters. I think the choppiness that you're seeing in terms of inventory adjustments, like you mentioned, Carl, uh, when you were talking to uh, Becky, those inventory adjustments, I think, are temporary. And I think in some ways, um, I think investors should look at this as very, very positive news that retail is being nimble uh, and taking action that needs to be taken. Um, I think that also you have to recognize, if you look at some of the names up on the screen that you're um, flashing right now, some of the retail names, I think the key uh, in retail, in the retail sector, uh, is to be investing in companies that are selling uh, product at cheaper prices. Uh, one name that's not on there, for example, is Costco. Those kind of names, um, I think, are going to be are going to benefit um, from what's happening uh, with uh, the consumer tighter infl more inflation and tighter wallets. Uh, Michael, just to follow up on that, you said in the producer's notes that you believe that any kind of recession that we might see, which doesn't appear to be your base case, at least in the short term, would be mild given where the consumer is now. Um, is there any sense that that could actually change quickly, though, especially given, um, you know, what we're seeing with regard to deposit rates ticking down? Obviously, the price of gas isn't helping things. Jobs market remains strong, but there certainly are factors out there that could change the picture somewhat, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, everything is really subject to change. But, but right now, um, the U.S. economy is... Um, it is roaring ahead right now. You have really strong GDP growth. You have strong employment numbers. Um, the Fed's trying to get that under control. Um, could the Fed possibly tip us into recession? Yeah, they, they could. Uh, but I think it's important to remember, too, that the Federal Reserve oftentimes uses their words to change interest rate outlook, uh, as well as actually adjust interest rates rather than just necessarily taking action. So it would not surprise me if they say, yes, half a percent is on the table, but when they actually do it, they actually say we're doing a quarter percent and a quarter percent is still on the table. So remember, there's a massaging that happens in terms of these speeches and these interviews. It's really important to keep in mind um, as the Federal Reserve keeps some ammunition um, ready uh, to take action either direction. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.